Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be explaining the lore of week 5, basically everything relating to the characters and songs. Before I get started with that, I just want to thank you guys for 48,000 subscribers. We're so close to 50k. Somehow though, over 92% of you aren't subscribed, so if you want to help me get to 50k subscribers, hit that subscribe button. Lastly, if you still haven't heard, I've got a Discord server full of epic people, so join if you want. Week 5 is quite chaotic, but the lore is easy to understand. It can be assumed that week 5 is sometime after week 2, as Halloween has clearly passed, it being the Christmas season. Anyways, boyfriend takes girlfriend out to the mall, where they go to meet Santa. It seemed as if this was some kind of special occasion, as boyfriend and girlfriend have different outfits from their usual ones. Unfortunately, when they arrived to meet Santa, he wasn't the only person they came across. An unexpected encounter with both of girlfriend's parents occurs, and they are here to ruin boyfriend's fun. Santa is held at gunpoint, and the dad takes his place in the throne, having the mum sit on his lap. All of those out shopping for Christmas gather to come watch the situation. Speaking of said people, look at the ridiculous amount of cameos here. Am I going to list them all? No, I don't think I am. But I will point out the notable ones. We have Darnella from Pico School, Jason, Chris and Stan from Nightmare Cops down the bottom. Top left we got Pico, Buggy the Bug, which is the character of one of the devs, Evil Skater, and Meat Boy. On the right we've got Henry Stickman, The Monster, and Hatsune Miku. Fun fact that everyone probably already knows. Hatsune Miku is here because she is canonically boyfriend's sister. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna get back on topic now. So boyfriend battles the dad and mum twice, as we know in the songs Coco and Eggnog. These songs have a very jolly Christmas feel to them, despite the situation. It feels like the dad is forcing everyone to be happy. I mean, come on, the man's got a gun. Who isn't gonna listen to him? Anyways, after the first two songs, this happens. Three, two, one, go. Okay, okay, before I talk about the monster for what feels like the millionth time, I just wanna point something out. Right now, the quote-unquote cutscene before Winter Horrorland just shows the head on top of the tree. But in one of Phantom Arcade's streams, when asked whether the mum dies in week 5, he said it was hard to give a concrete answer. Phantom Arcade has plans for a week 5 cutscene, as he does for basically all the weeks. For the week 5 cutscene, all he said is that it would make you smile. This implies that something interesting in the story will most certainly happen. One thing that is for certain though, is that everyone who was in the background before has ran away from the mall. Oh, and also, Santa died, which probably helps theorize for what the cutscene is going to be. Ninja Muffin really be giving us the essential information. So, the monster strikes from where he was watching in the crowd, causing the entire mall to be sent into disarray. Blood is scattered on the walls and in the snow, and the tinsel on the tree is now intestines. This really shows the lengths that the monster will go to eat boyfriend and girlfriend after being unsuccessful in week 2. It still confuses me as to how the monster can do this, and whether or not he truly has supernatural abilities that can cause him to do things to this magnitude. Eh, who knows, someday we'll get an answer. That's gonna wrap up today's video, remember to subscribe and join the discord server. Okay, bye!